Hi, I'm Laura Pell and this is my show board. The topic I did this year for Science Fair is dissolving Alka-Seltzer using different liquids and liquid temperatures. My research question is, how do the liquid and liquid temperature affect the dissolving time of an Alka-Seltzer tablet? The independent variable is the different liquids and liquid temperatures. The dependent variable is the time it takes to dissolve the tablet. The controlled variable is the Alka-Seltzer with no liquid, and the sample size is 36 trials. Overall, I chose to do this experiment because I wanted to learn more about chemical reactions. The data I collected for my 36 trials was that water, at the hottest temper I tested, dissolves Alka-Seltzer faster than every other liquid and liquid temperature. Within each liquid, the times of dissolving were all around the same, but one anomaly I discovered was for the orange juice. Almost all the trials dissolved the tablet in around three minutes, but the final two trials dissolved the Alka-Seltzer in around six minutes. Although there is a general pattern within each liquid to have the hotter temperatures dissolve faster than the colder temperatures, the results did in fact support my hypothesis and my review of literature. I predicted water would dissolve the tablet the fastest. My review of literature also supports my data because I discovered hot temperatures of water will dissolve tablets faster because the molecules move faster in hot water, leading it to dissolve quicker. I completed this experiment in a few steps. Firstly, I set out 36 plastic cups. Next, I would take one of the chosen liquids and pour it into one cup or 250 milliliters of the liquid into a single cup. I then checked the temperature using my thermometer and started the stopwatch as I dropped the Alka-Seltzer tablet into the liquid. To mention, I also took pictures of the dissolving process and wrote down in my notebook as I did the experiment. I waited till the fizzling and bubbling noises completely ended and finally ended the stopwatch. In my experiment, the materials I used were 36 plastic cups, which can hold up to 354 milliliters of liquid, one stopwatch, water, spray, oranges, Celsius, vinegar, sparkling water, and a 250 milliliter or one cup measuring cup. If I were to do this project again, I would probably try to find a way to almost space out the temperatures more. I realize I cannot control the exact temperature of a liquid, but maybe next time I could try to leave one room temperature, one freezing, etc. To add on, to summarize what I discussed in my review of literature, here are a few points I mentioned. I wrote about how Alka-Seltzer actually works, the key ingredients in the tablet, how temperatures affect the rate of a molecule collision, physical versus chemical changes, who, how, and why was Alka-Seltzer actually discovered, and a conclusion of all my research. In conclusion, I discovered that water with the hottest temperature dissolves Alka-Seltzer the fastest, and the single slowest dissolving time came from orange juice. I also learned a lot about how different liquids and liquid temperatures can affect the dissolving of an Alka-Seltzer tablet. I believe this project was successful. I would first and mostly like to thank my science teacher, Misha Pontia, for guiding me through the course of this project with patience and positive feedback. I would also like to thank my peers for giving me ideas on how I could better my experiment and data collection. Lastly, my parents for helping me buy the materials which were needed to complete this project. Thank you for watching and that was my science fair project on what liquid and liquid temperature can dissolve Alka-Seltzer the fastest.